guys, time for another top 10 tips on Tuesday in under two minutes, all about geranium. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, bless me. Of course on camera. Oh. It's Elizabeth from Adair Green Moments where I share about health, wellness, and essential oils every week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And if you haven't subscribed yet, head over to the vlog channel. We talk about cruises and vacations and all things adventures <laughs> over on Madero Vlog Moments. Uh, yeah, it's fun stuff over there. Okay, we're going to jump right into geranium. Number one, it's a single. There's nothing else in this but geranium essential oil. Number two, Purchase it as a 15 milliliter. I must have gotten this as a promo because it's a five milliliter, but I have it written down here. It's a 15 milliliter is the way you can purchase it. Retail, it's $54 and change, and wholesale, it's $41 and change. So it's kind of that mid-range oil. It's not too pricey, but it's not, you know, 10 bucks. <laughs> Number four, it's found in Egypt and in India. Number five, it's steam distilled from the flowers and the leaves. Number six, historically, it's been used for skincare for centuries. We're talking a long time people have been adding geranium to their skincare routine. This is also number seven, great to support your respiratory and women's health. So do some research, look into that, but geranium is a great one for the ladies. Number eight, Young Living says topically you can use two to four drops. You don't need to dilute it unless you have the most sensitive skin. Grab yourself a carrier oil to dilute it. Number nine, this is found in, you ready? <laughs> Lotion, soaps, deodorant from Young Living, Acceptance, Awaken, Endoflex, Envision, Clarity, Gentle Baby, Harm Harmony, Gathering, Forgiveness, Humility, Joy, Juvaflex, Lady Scleral, Sarah, Trauma Life, White Angelica, Release, and I'm sure there's more. If this is in that many essential oil blends from Young Living, there is a reason. This oil is a gem. Now number 10, I always love to share with you guys my experience or my thoughts or feelings about essential oils. So what do I think about geranium? I'm gonna share with you very quickly my eighth grade story. When I was in eighth grade, I was in a small Christian school, small private school, and there was a geranium plant on the windowsill and the rows were very small of our desks and somebody inevitably would bump the geranium and would give off the scent that I just <laughs> could not handle. I didn't care for geranium. Maybe I needed geranium in eighth grade to support one of these many areas of my life, but that is what I smell. Every time I smell geranium, I'm brought back to eighth grade. Isn't it funny how scents can do that? So I'm always brought back to somebody bump the geranium and I can smell it and I don't care for it. So. Do I use geranium neat? Do I add it to my life single like this? No, I don't. I only do it if it's added with other essential oils because of my eighth grade experience of geranium. Share with us your stories and comments and thoughts and ideas and tips and tricks about geranium in the comments down below. I would love to continue the discussion. I love hearing what you guys use and how you use it. You guys are awesome and experts about these essential oils. Help, help a friend out. Let us know what you do with these essential oils. Tell us all your stories about geranium. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Thursday with another video. Bye guys.